Hello, lovely Milky Way galaxy. So today I thought I'd I'd predict or tell you who I think will win on WrestleMania uh, Saturday and WrestleMania Sunday this year. Even though I do realize that a lot can happen between now and Saturday and now and Sunday. There could be ad matches added, there could be matches taken off, there could be matches, I mean segments that are added to it or segments that are taken away from it. But he, these are just the things that I've seen on, you know, on on there. And I'm going to watch it on Saturday and I'm going to watch it on a Sunday because I want to know what happens. I want to know what um, who wins, who loses, uh, what segments they're going to have. It's like four hours long each night. I believe on Saturday it, it happens to start at four o'clock. It might start even earlier than that. It might start at two o'clock. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the whole situation is going to be. But we'll see. I, and it might, like I said, th the 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 uh, things might change between now and Saturday, and now and Sunday. So here's what I have. So the first match here I have is SmackDown Women's Championship: Charlotte Flair, who's the champion, versus Ronda Rousey. Now, Ronda Rousey hasn't wrestled in quite some time, and I'm there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, she did appear at uh, Royal Rumble back in February or last month, but by the time this uh, or that was back in March that she she uh she was in the Royal Rumble. So I'm gonna my pick for that is gonna be Ronda Ronda Rousey wins the SmackDown Women's Title. Um, uh, then you got the Raw Women's Title between Becky Lynch, the champion, and Bianca Belair. I think I think B Big Time Bex is gonna um. Is going to retain her title. This one is a little bit more interesting. Because I don't know. I don't fully know what's going to be the outcome. But we'll see. So it's the SmackDown Tag Team Titles. Uh, between the Usos. The Champions. And, Shin and Shinsuke Nakamura. And Rick Boos. Now I believe. That, and this is just my opinion. You don't have to believe it. Or you don't have to understand it. But I'm going to go. We're going to have new. SmackDown tag team title te tag team champs with Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs winning the titles. Now, the next one is the next two aren't really title matches, um, and it's Dominic and Rey Mysterio, father and son, versus The Miz and Logan Paul. Now, Logan Paul's never competed in a match before. So I'm going to go with the Mysterios beating The Miz and Logan Paul come this Sunday. The last match on Saturday I have here is um, is Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin. I think Drew McIntyre is going to walk all over a Happy Corbin on sun on Saturday. Now there's only five matches here uh, listed for Sunday, but like I said, there's could be so many more matches, so many more things added to the cards on both nights. So let's just dive into it. So we got a winner take all unification match between Universal Champion Roman Reigns versus WWE Champion Brock Lesnar. I think Lesnar's gonna win both titles, and then Reigns is gonna become. I, I these are these are just rumors I heard. It's that Roman Reigns is gonna turn babyface, and then we could potentially see. Now I don't know. Like I said, this is just rumors. I heard. I heard. That The Rock might make an appearance and cost Reigns the title. And um, and then there's going to set up a huge match between Dwayne, Johnson, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Roman Reigns over the course of the next year. Uh, seeing as how WrestleMania 39 is in Hollywood at, at SoFi Stadium. So there's a possibility with that. The women's tag team titles are on the lines. Carmel and Queen Zelina are the champs. And it's going to be versus Naomi and Sasha versus Liv and Rhea Ripley versus Natalia and Shayna Baszler. I'm going to go with Liv and Rhea Ripley. I believe the Nightmare is going to... Is gonna, the Nightmare and Liv Morgan are going to win the, the women's tag team titles. Then we've got Edge versus AJ Styles. 
I'm going to go with Edge. Honestly, because Edge is just too dangerous right now. And he's just, I just don't think AJ Styles has enough to beat Edge. Um, and then you got Sami Zayn versus Johnny Knoxville. Anything goes match is what it's classified as. So I think Johnny Knoxville somehow is going to take this. I don't know how, I don't know what he's going to have to do, but he's going to take the, the match. And then we got one last match on this card, which is Austin Theory versus Pat McAfee. Now, McAfee did wrestle in NXT for a little bit, and he became a champion, I believe, in NXT. So even though, you know, Austin Theory is, is Vince McMahon's person, I'm going to go with Pat McAfee to beat... Uh, Austin Theory. Now there's a match here that they haven't decided on what, when it's going to be or um, anything like that, but there's supposed to be a triple threat tag te Raw Tag Team ta Championship match uh, between the Arcade Bro, which is Matt Riddle and Randy Orton, the champions, versus the Street Profits versus Alpha Academy. Now I don't know when that's supposed to take place or anything like that, but I'm going to go with the champions retaining. Now, with that being said, that's that's all that I know about what's happening on both nights. Like I said, there's there's the the card might change between today and Saturday or today and Sunday where they have where they add matches, where they add a segment. Oh, and by the way, I there is a thing that's not on here that I want to talk about, and that's um, there's supposed to be a Kevin Owens show. With him and the with the host of WrestleMania, Stone Cold Steve Austin, I think that Stone Cold Steve Austin is gonna whoop, open a can of whoop ass on on Kevin Owens, and we're just gonna we're just gonna have to see if that leads to a match or if that's that's all it is. It's just gonna be a Stone Cold, and then he's gonna drink some beer. Who knows what's gonna happen with that? Um, there's gonna be there's probably gonna be a lot of surprise, maybe a few surprises that we don't expect. Like maybe the Undertaker will make an appearance. Maybe, may, I'm not saying this could happen. Maybe John Cena makes an appearance. The Rock makes an appearance. You know, anything could happen at WrestleMania because it is the most depend. They're calling it the most stupendous two nights of wrestling ever. Now, with that being said, that's all I've got for today's vlog. We've got birthdays to wish, so let's dive into that. We've got seven birthdays to wish today. Or no. Is that right? No. So eight birthdays to wish today. So let's just dive into that. So I want to wish Kristen McAtee a happy birthday. I want to wish Zoe Sugg and Lily Marston a happy birthday. I want to wish Jimmy Wong a happy 35th. Mary Kate Wiles a happy 35th. And Fula Borg a happy 40th birthday. And that, those are all, all those birthdays are on, on YouTube, but you probably find them on Instagram and Twitter as well, but I have them on my uh, YouTube ones. And then we've got uh, Stephanie Germanato, uh, and that's probably not how you pronounce it, it's, J, it's G E R M A N O T T A. I want to wish her happy birthday, and I want to wish Tiffany Toth a happy birthday today. And that is it for birthdays today. So, and then tomorrow before I go, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a whole, you know, who wore what best on, on Academy Awards Sunday and my opinion on the, the winners and all that stuff will be in the vlog tomorrow. So come back tomorrow for that vlog and bye-bye.